All right, y'all. So we're back with some pretty interesting news here. We're back with some stuff that looks kind of scary. So this actually isn't even the scariest part of what we're going to be going over today. This is just really um, the first thing we're going to be talking about. So uh, Vivi and um, Omi Bull, obviously, he's saying himself, this is starting to look bad. We understand problems occur, but it's been four days with no update. Give the users some respect and let us know what's going on. Now, being upset after four days when it's been like over four years is crazy. Like, you just start feeling it the last four days? Like, I think most of us super bulls who done turned more realistic, most of us got tired of it years in, not... <laughs> but I mean, hey, I mean, if this four days lets you see that something, you know, something weird is going on or they're mismanaging or miscommunicating, like these are major problems. And the fact that people don't stand together and and want more things spoken on, like it's, it's a big issue. Like people say that, oh, we're not investors. They don't owe us an explanation. All of these things. The fact of the matter is when... The way the reason that they won us all over was because they respected Web3. They respected the transparency. They were telling us things. They were letting us in. They were including us. That is what built up the VV fam. I know a lot of people want to pretend like that side of the company never existed. What created this VV fam and this Omi fam and all this stuff that you all praise today still is those habits from the past. So you can sit here and act like the fundamentals of the project hasn't changed. The way that the team fundamentally moves hasn't changed. It's just like everything is just completely different. So, yeah, everyone could use some clear communication on the things that's going on and especially the things that's going wrong. Like just an update that we're still working on it. We'll keep you updated. Something that simple. Like I'm not sitting here asking for a breakdown of your day. Oh, I had to wake up and go to a meeting and do that. Then I did that. That's why I couldn't get to this. I don't care. Are you still working on what you promised you would be working on? It's not too much to send out a tweet saying, yo, we're still working. We know that you all are waiting. I'm so sorry for the delay. We're still working as hard as we can on it. Some professionalism is all that people are asking for at this point. And then you got people out here trying to make me out to be the enemy when I just say stuff that's very realistic, it's very realistic to pop out a tweet, yo, we still working, my bad, it's taking so long. And then when you say that, they, oh, Vivi does not owe us anything. They 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 share drinks with us when we go to these events, so they're great people. Like, bro, they, they I, I just need them to make me some great money. I don't care about them being great people or none of that. Like, that ship has sailed long ago at the point where you promise all this stuff and it's not happening. I completely understand. Well, I feel like I understand why a lot of this stuff is not happening, but that's still no excuse because you have handled it poorly. Regardless of all the stuff that caught you off guard, regardless of incompetence and all that, you have not handled this stuff right at all. And it's very simple, very simple communication could have solved so much problems that Vivi struggles with to this day. So I have no sympathy for the situation that they put themselves in. But that being said, um, even a bull is saying this is starting to look bad. We understand problems occur, but it's been four days with no update. Give us users some respect and let us know what's going on. Sentiment is shifting after such a great launch. Hiding speaks volumes. Now, obviously, um, they, they just do things to try to keep the community quiet. Like at the end of the day, the reason that this new platform came out of nowhere, the, the reason that the comics came out of nowhere is because that's more than likely what the licensor wants. Vivi is not in control of what's going on. Vivi is not the ones out here making calls. They said, oh, you got to please your Omi token holders. We don't care about the Omi token. You don't play. You don't pay us an Omi. We don't care about that token at all. Work on this platform and get that done because we want to make some more money from this end. And Vivi like, okay, we can kind of make this. We, we make this work anyway. We can make this fit in. That's fine. And obviously they prioritize what the licensor wanted. Like Vivi is not Vivi didn't just come out of nowhere. Oh, we finna make a whole comic side of things. No, that that's not that wasn't Vivi. They were they were ordered to do it, and that's the thing. They these licensors has Vivi by the balls. That's that's really what it comes down to. So what the community, the the audience, the fans is secondary to whatever the licensors want. And I mean, if you want to keep the licenses, you gotta kiss the, kiss their ass, I guess. But you can at least communicate certain things like you, but hey, listen, I may just be naive. Maybe the community can't handle hearing that the licensor is important. Um, 
She said they have to give it all to their team. Discord mods, liquidity for employees, salaries, etc. Scammers. My man is upset. I'm Captain Obvious. Obviously with the O in his name. I love VV. You know I love VV. But I've experienced some serious struggles with these new comics. I spent 145 on comics last week and don't regret that. But I've allegedly reserved four or five more that I really wanted. And it's so unclear whether or not I will ever... Hold on. Whether or not I will ever get them. Somebody spent $145 and it's unclear if they'll get what they paid for. That's wild. But okay. Um, support told me to add comics to my cart to resolve a problem. And now some of my reservations are gone. I'd like some clarity. Don't feel like I'm being too critical. And don't feel like I'm being too critical. Thank you for your honesty and fairness on this subject. See, they got to even kiss ass to get a response. They got to say, oh, I'm not a footer. I'm not being mean. It's like, bro, somebody shouldn't have to sit here and write a disclaimer just because they want to know they paid something for their money. It's like going to a restaurant, ordering a pizza and be like, yo, I mean, this box is empty. I don't want to come across mean. Like, bro, put my food in here. Like, what? Why? Why? Listen, bro, this is crazy. Is this Richard trolling again? I recently sold a comic on the main VV app. I noticed I was able to still sell it later on. Yeah, this man is a troll. This man is just saying stuff at this point. As discussed many times, communication is the most important thing in any business. This concept goes back to the cavemen who are the best DJs ever. If you want us, we deserve better. Keep it simple. Come on, guys. I mean, it's really coming back to the same thing that I've been really campaigning for for years. Looks like now even all the moon boys is starting to want communication. Yet, everybody was just arguing against communication. But anyway, that's none of my business. Let's move on to the next topic here. The the the, the big topic here. Look, <laughs> look, Fud Lord, you know he had to get something hilarious. This ha well, it's not really hilarious, if, especially if you're in too deep in this project. It's crazy, but okay. Um, this has only just been added to the terms of service, um, so please pay attention. Um, follow Mister U on his way to, <laughs> on his way to declare bankruptcy on his Lamborghini yacht. Don't be his exit liquidity. So he said, we may go out of business, declare bankruptcy, or cease operations, thereby decreasing the use or value of the collectible. Hey, what company put this in the terms of service? Putting this in the terms of service is wild. He said, hey, just so y'all know, we might go out of business. We might declare bankruptcy. And we may cease operations, thereby decreasing the use or value of the collectibles. Y'all just got to accept that. You, you run a risk of us running away with everything, and it's on you. Just so you know. Like, that's that's crazy. That is crazy. He said, is this actually real? I wonder why they just added it. No new users coming in. The active users keep decreasing, not increasing. I mean, this, this, this is obvious. And, and it's all because of communication. It's all because of communication. This is a very smart, progressive community, and they treat the members as if they're idiots and don't can't understand simple, yo, we're still working on something. We ran into a roadblock. You don't even have to give details about the roadblock. Just we ran into a roadblock. It's going to take more time than we thought. Simple responses like that gives a lot more information than just ignoring your audience. This is starting to happen more and more and more. But hey, who, who am I? This has to be the biggest red flag to date with Vivi. The terms of use was crazy before, but now they just preparing us for the future. <laughs> hey, they need to change it from we made to when we do. <laughs> just legalities checking boxes for a cleaner terms. I mean, that that is very clean, I will say that. This is usually pretty standard because of the future is the future is never known for anything. If you can use this to get prices down, I'll be happy to sweep. VV is consistently losing active users, so he's basically going to give the rundown of what's going on. Um the ambiguity of clause I. New technologies may replace NFTs and other digital assets and platforms, thereby limiting the liquidity and value of and demand for the collectibles. They've already changed the parameters of an NFT so much that they can just rebrand it now. <laughs> yeah, so much for passing these assets down to our children when we get older. I mean, 
this is it looks crazy everything that that we've been sold on as bullish they're starting to put contingencies in place to prepare for you know throwing throwing away the company and, and throwing away the assets and devaluing things it's like all it's like they spend more time legally trying to cover their asses from the 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 fuck shit that they do than they actually spend trying to build the project and, and give the, the the fans what they want give the people what they want it's like if you spent more time actually building you wouldn't be worried about what's going to happen or what people are going to think when you close it's crazy this is the stuff that you're putting your effort into when the community still want answers to things this I'll be lying if I said that this this isn't the most disappointing project I've ever been part of because you all know how I used to love this project. And luckily, I'm glad that I'm in a position where I can't be like damaged by this project one way or another. Like, I, I love it. It's freeing. It's freeing that I don't have to care. If this turns out to be nothing and it all blows over and, and VV explodes, I gain. If it goes to zero, don't care. It's like, the most freeing thing ever, the position that I've put myself in. And this is why I preach mitigating risk. And and then it's it's ironic. You got people who will be mad at me when I say, when I speak out against jumping all in, the average user jumping all in like Randy. You got people who will be mad that I, I'll say that, but this is risky. It is very, very risky. And he, he just because he's willing to put it all on red does not mean that everyone else should. It, it's it's crazy it, it is crazy and then he's from the military so he gets military benefits on top of what all, what else he got going on so it's like everyone else is not in a position to make the type of decisions that he makes and if it works out well for him that's great if it works out bad for him he gotta live with that like it is it really is what it is but this is exactly why i speak for mitigating risk and and putting yourself in the best position for you. Don't sit here and follow no influencer, no YouTuber, not even me, do what's best for you. If you think what's best for you is putting your house on a chopping block, sitting here putting 95% of your net worth into one project, like if, if that's what's best for you, don't let me tell you differently, bro. Like do what you gotta do. If that's what your family, if that, listen, if that's what's best for you, I wish you the best with that approach. I really do. I don't wanna see anybody get hit with a hammer that hard, but Listen, you got to do what you got to do. I mean, but yeah, that's that's where we're going to leave this one, man. Um, crazy things is going on right now. Crazy times. And this is definitely not, this is definitely not a, a bullish thing. So yeah, let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn notifications. And I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.